It's my first visit to Odisha and um, I had this uh, bad eye infection since the last two days. My eyes keep watering but I said I can't cancel on this and I had to be here. So I've been resting in the plane, I've been resting my eyes. Uh, but I'm, I think my eyes will get better seeing all the love that's there tonight. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so used to doing fashion shows with models and uh, it was a very different experience for me as well. And that's why I want to sit in the audience and watch all the real women, all women who are um, working, they're housewives, and uh, they were excited to do this fashion show. We've been discussing it uh, since a couple of months, and I was like, I can't miss this experience tonight, and I'm so glad I made it. And I'm really happy to be with all of you and watch all you wonderful ladies walk around. Thank you, thank you, Manish. And Manish, we have created history today where Manish Malhotra himself is designed in Odisha handloom for the very first time. And how, how did you like the collection, guys? How was it? There's so much more that I'd like to do. And uh, it, it's an opportunity, so thank you. Um, when the saris came to me, so there was this whole conversation of that, should we cut the saris and, and make, um, you know, designs out of these? And I was like, no, they're so beautiful then I'm not going to cut any sari. I'm going to add to them. And I'm so glad we did that because all of you look so elegant. And more than that, happy to be doing this. Thank you, thank you. So we'll uh, start, we'll have a few questions with you before we start the awards. We'll go back a little back in time because, you know, we have been the 80s kids. And uh, when we grew up, kuch kuch hota hai. The movie, it bro broke records. And the costumes that you designed for the movie, I think that was a game changer. So, how was your experience working with the entire team of Kuch Kuch Hota with Karan Johar, with Shah Rukh Khan and the lovely uh, pastel shades and how, how, how did it come, I mean, how it came to you and how was your experience? My career started in 1990 um, with movies uh, because I love films and I love clothes and I love fashion and uh, I'm self-taught, I used to draw a lot, I used to sketch. Uh, I was very keen that I should do something in the films. Uh, I came in 1990, uh, Rangila came in 1995, followed by Dilwale, Dhulina Le Chayenge. And by then, I knew Karan because he had worked with, um, uh, as an assistant to Aditya Chopra. And uh, so we had all formed this bond and we were all very excited about Kut Kut Chota. I had already worked with Kajol before. Rani Mukherjee's first uh, film, which was Raja Ki Aayi Barat, is what I had worked for. So I already worked for them and so we were already a group that was wanting to do something, uh, you know, which um, stands out. And all you can do is work hard, you can never plan a success. The film worked so well and I remember all the polo sport and all of that uh, became a huge hit. So basically getting styling into costume design and looking into an entire look is something that I, I got in, into the movies from the hair to the makeup. Because for me, I think till today, even for a bride or a bridegroom of any character, in person, in real, in real, it's the entire look. It's not just the outfit. Uh, how you dress your jewelry, what makeup you have on, how's your hair done. I think it all contributes to an overall persona and a style. And I think that is most important. Thank you, thank you for that. So, you know, formal education, and skill trainings are considered essential for growth in life. And uh, in fashion design as well. So a lot of students we see in fashion designing these days and we had 30 designers with us today. So you are the one of the most successful fashion designers in the world. So how did the journey start and what it took for you to reach this position? Well, I won't, I, I'll endorse formal education always. I think it's very, very important. However, I'm not educated. Because, um, I mean, when I was in school, all I thought was about films. I watched every movie that released. Uh, when it came, I was very passionate about painting, color, films, music. Um, when I came to college, I, I enhanced my artwork and painting. I started working in a boutique. I was so fascinated with clothes. So I kind of worked a lot too. Uh, and there was no institute that time. I'm talking about the uh, late 80s in Mumbai. and. Uh, but NIFT had just opened in Delhi, which was I think about 1987 or 88. Uh, I lived in Mumbai and there wasn't any course for men to get into fashion design. 
so I had no choice but to get down to learning it all myself. Uh, but I think it's passion driven. I'm fascinated till date uh, and passionate about cinema. Uh, and for me, um, clothes are a part of that and that's why my life's been all about movies and about fashion. And from movies I got into mainstream, uh, which was again learning on the job, learning my mistakes, uh, doing lots of mistakes, waking up next morning and saying, it's done, I have to just do better. So this is, this is a learning for all entrepreneurs out here. If you have the passion, you can make it happen. Right, ladies? Yes?